Good morning from the city of Monastir. This is a city a little bit south of Susa. There are so many incredible things to see in the city. I just arrived a little bit ago, but what it's most known for is being the home city of President Habib Bourguiba. This is one of the most respected leaders in Tunisia and in the Arab world. Habib Bourguiba did so much for his country and his people, and he was the first president of Tunisia, the Republic of Tunisia, after the French colonization. So I'm starting my adventure out here at the mausoleum of Habib Bourguiba. This is where him and him, most of his family is buried. And this mausoleum was built in memory of him and all the great work that he did for this country. So this is one of the first rooms in the mausoleum. This is where some family members of Habib Bourguiba are buried. I just read a sign, his grandfather is here, his mom, his dad, his wife. Not too far from the mausoleum of uh, Habib Bourguiba, there is the ribat of uh, monastir. And the ribat is a sort of Islamic fortification used for military purposes, but also used for praying. And this is an example, a good example of a fortification or ribat in North Africa. This one was used basically by the Morabitans to defend themselves from the Byzantines and any attacks that might be coming from the water. And it is by the ocean, so the views usually from buildings like this are pretty incredible. There's the Ribat here in Monastir, but there's also another one in uh, Susa. You can actually see a few people all the way up in the, in the tower, so I'm gonna go climb my way up and see what the views look like from up there. The views from here are fantastic and this water is super clear, it's amazing, incredible. If there's only one spot to pick here in Monastir, that would be the tower from the Ribad, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so tight. I'm gonna take these stairs down and see where they're going to take me. Ladies and gentlemen, is the view from up top. Wow, wow, wow. Lunch today is at a restaurant called the Dar Shraka here in Monastir. Uh, we got this recommendation from uh, some Tunisian guys that we met earlier and uh, went for some uh, salad niçoise. I've got grilled liver, which is one of my favorite meals. And then uh, Mario's got some uh, salad and vegetarian couscous. <laughs> We just wrapped up lunch and made our way to the waterfront right here. It's very beautiful. You can see the ribat all the way there and some of the walls of the Medina. And then the water, it's very clear. There's also a marina all the way there. 
but uh, I'm so in love with the with the color of the water here in uh, Tunisia very blue very clear and then you can also see right there there's a walkway where you can just walk and make your way to the cliffs up there so I'm just gonna walk by the beach and then perhaps find a place to grab some tea before we wrap up our adventure in Monastir We just had our afternoon tea here in the marina of Monastir, which turned out to be a really nice marina. They do have a lot of cafes and restaurants to either grab a bite to eat, coffee or tea, or if you just want to walk around, really it's a nice place to walk around and maybe to even go for a run. I am preparing myself for a marathon for July, which <laughs> it's insane. And I've been paying attention to places where it's easy to run here in Tunisia. And I think this will be a nice place to go for a casual run. But anyway, a lot of boats, a lot of yachts, and I think even super yachts, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm very happy that we made our way here. And I think I will be wrapping up my adventure here today and I will see you guys in the next one.